Don't. Don't do it, Shark Man. Don't. Don't call your friends over either. Oh my god. The shark's hovering right above me. Ah. Remember. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to Iron Fish. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Uh, this right here is a game I've actually been eyeing in the upcoming games for Steam for quite a bit now. The unfortunate thing is that there's been very little information about the game, very little advertising. Uh, I've reached out to developers beforehand, and I finally heard back from them until today, which happens to be release date. So I got a copy of the game now. I normally like to play a game a while for the one shot so I could come into the video and tell you what's what, how does it work, etc. So this one here, I really haven't had too much experience with just yet, which I do believe is all right, though, because this is an underwater or a deep sea psychological thriller RPG. That's what the game builds itself as anyway. And I think that's actually really good for this type of video that I'm not too familiar with because Deep Sea is like one of the best settings I want to say for like, you know, spookiness and thrillers and horror. Kind of like Subnautica, you know, it's not really meant to be a horror game, but man, when you get really deep in Subnautica, you're thinking, man, there's some spooky stuff down here. So this is kind of like what Iron Fish is all about. So without further ado, let's actually get into the game. Okay, Karis, are you receiving? Loud and clear, Marshal. Excellent. How does the new suit feel? Like a second skin. All right, let's test your mobility. Try swimming around a bit. This new Odin tack is great. All right, you can swim using WASD. You can look around with the mouse. You can swim faster by holding shift key. So it's basically like walking in like any other game. You got it. Uh, when swimming, your hut displays in the important information you will need. Compass, oxygen, battery, which should be for a light. Oxygen meter is displayed bottom left. Okay. <laughs> it sure is. But even the lab coats at Odin couldn't extend your oxygen supply beyond the maximum at this depth. Keep a careful eye on your gauge in the bottom left view of your Arctic operating system. Oxygen gauge. Got it. Board your sub, and I will instruct you how to operate it. Hey, I'll be that. Created by Dean Edwards. <laughs> so they got the cast, uh, or at least the the people who worked on the game over here showing up on the game. That's a, that's pretty cool. I like that. Directed by Sean Leach. Oh, there's something over here, though. So I'll get to that sub pretty soon, but for now, I gotta explore here a little bit. Open this up. Oxygen. Repair kid. First aid. When you are outside of your submarine, you lose health when you take damage. Your helmet's visor will become cracked and you may start to bleed. Bleeding will attract sharks and other deep sea nasties, and it won't take long to bleed out entirely, so it's important that you seek medical attention as soon as possible. You will find first aid kits dotted around the world. These allow you to patch yourself up, adding 30 health points as well as patching up your visor and stopping your bleeding. Probably a very good thing to have with um, sharks and deep sea monsters around me, huh? So, and if we use shift, it does seem our oxygen does bleed faster. Uh, one sec, let me check out. I'm reading that your sub took some damage when it was launched. Get out your repair kit. Get out the repair kit. How would one go about doing this? Repairing the sub? Your submarine will take damage when you crash into obstacles or get attacked. If your submarine takes enough damage, its condition will continue to degrade until you repair it. Fail to repair it in time, and your submarine will break down. Okay. Control to open Remember, eyes. your Armtek OS keeps automatic track of your current objectives and all your data. If in doubt, use it to plan your next move. Got it. Good job, Karis. Remember to keep repair kits at hand in case this happens again. Driving the sub. Inside your submarine, you can view an array of information, including the map, see your current depth in the ocean, Track your place in the world and current objectives. This is the new Farsia class submarine. Take some time getting acquainted with the interface. Well, didn't expect an entirely new class of submarines to be launched while I was out. Don't worry. It's close enough to the models you're familiar with. You don't need to recertify. All right. Oh man, those giant whales. All right, so we're apparently in a safe depth. It's our speed up here. External temperature, internal temperature, aqua jet. This is actually pretty cool. I'm loving the inside of the sub. Good information. Everybody. Oh, you're right. It's not difficult at all. 
ready to do some work. I stumbled across a distress signal received by Nepton a week ago. It appears no rescue mission was launched, and the whole thing went uninvestigated. The coordinates pinged at a nearby rock. Take a look at the map and follow the marker. An arrow will appear if your objective is above or below your current position. Uh, whale? Well. didn't launch a rescue. Did someone cover it up on purpose? On my way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that whale was getting too uncomfortably close to me there. Yo, dog. Don't interrupt me when I'm listening to the people talk, okay? I don't want to interrupt them. Okay, so... Let's see. Map is pointing downwards for sure, so we gotta... Go even deeper. Go even darker below. Coming through here. Uh, you can indeed go out and investigate. So, uh, I'm only going straight into the... I guess, um... Location that we're headed to. Just so I can show you more of this in the video. As creepy music plays up here. Because it is a one-shot, so I would just want to show you as much of the gameplay as possible. But you definitely can go out and explore right now, and you can find some really cool locations. You can actually look for items and data logs and stuff like that. Give you a little bit more information about the world. So I just thought I'd figure I'd throw that out there for you. I haven't played much of the game, but I took it out for a spin just to get comfortable with what I'm doing, at least for this video. But I haven't gotten to this point. I basically just took it out to explore a little while. Parking spots. When you're in the submarine, your arm tech OS will automatically scout out appropriate parking spots. Parking spots mark the start of the next stage of your mission. Oh, okay. So, stages to the mission. I like how they have the, <laughs> the casting there. So, let's lower it down. If you smack into I, um, location, or not locations, but like rocks, you know, any sort of environmental hazard with your submarine, it does take damage and it starts cracking the window. You have to get out and fix it. How do I know this? Well, let's just say I'm a bad driver. You can replenish your oxygen from your sub, so don't stray too far from it. Don't stray. Got it. Oh, man. Keep an eye on your head torch battery, Keras. It is displayed next to your oxygen gauge on your ArmTech OS. Oxygen. Right. So, we got, like, what, two of those here? Let me take one now to just top myself off, if I can. There you go. And now we go where we're supposed to be going, which is down through here. Oh, dude. Underwater and, like, claustrophobic environments. What a, I can't see a thing double down whammy. Here. I need some light. Don't worry, I'm turning on the tab. This is a double whammy, though. It's like spelunking underwater or some shit. What is he supposed to be? Got those. There we go. Data log. Marshall, I found something. Seems to be a data log. So we're looking for data logs, right? Is that somebody's fucking hand? It is. Oh, dude, I just saw that in the background. Um, let's one second. It is somebody's hand. Let's uh remove this tool if we can here momentarily. <laughs> what the fuck? Well. That's creepy. Looks like it's throwing gang signs, too. Yeah, it's an underwater submarine hand. Let's go back and read this now. According to this data log, this is an Odin sub. What were they doing down here? Mm, there's nothing in our files about that. I know Odin had an operation there a while back, but nothing this recent. Unless somebody at Nekton really is covering things up. Marshall, I'm sending you the scanner data of this wreckage. See if you can find out what damaged it. There was a massive system failure and no emergency backups activated. I know. Sounds highly unlikely. That's probably why we didn't get any more Mayday calls. This log mentions five subs. Perhaps we can find out what happened to the other four. 
Maybe some of the operators are still alive. If that's the case, this mission just became time sensitive. Let me scan the area and see if I can find them. Detecting something. Yeah, follow these coordinates. Marshal, why was this data log just floating around? It's a part of our new recovery protocol. Odin subs routinely jettison their data logs, so if something goes wrong, we can trace back the chain of events. Oh, you mean they come up with small-scale solutions as well? Not just enormous, curing world hunger, saving all the children, scale stuff? Now, now, Karis. Don't make fun of our biggest benefactor. If it wasn't for their technology, you wouldn't be able to do all the things you love. Don't forget to refill your oxygen supplies by going back to your sub. Indeed, I've done that. I'm trying not to, like, you know... Chit chat when they're talking. So <laughs> if I go dark for a while, it's because like I'm just not sure when I should come back in because random dialogue in the game. So let's see, we have another location for us to check out. Seems to be going where? Hmm, through here. Above us as well. Let's make sure we're not going to smash into the top of some cave here. Be careful around here, Karis. Our data shows a lot of sharks in this area. You'll want to avoid open water, or they'll swarm. That's fucking pleasant. Sharks attack their prey in open water. Remember to stay close to walls and floors, or they will swarm. Be careful as the sharks in this area are unusually aggressive and will be attracted if you start bleeding. Oh. Relax, Marshal. This is not my first time dealing with agitated fish. Well, it is mine, so <laughs> I'm not relaxed. I got a checkpoint at least. Alright, Sharky Shark and the Funky Bunch. I'm gonna try to come over. Is that one of the subs down there? I see one of the subs right now. Jesus Christ. It would just be where that shark's at, too. That's the one we have to go to, too, isn't it? <laughs> Damn right it is. Okay, Sharky Shark. I'm gonna just go down, hang out by the walls and the floor, very much like I was still told to do so. Because it isn't my first underwater rodeo, according to this girl, Cirrus or whatever. God, that fish scared the shit out of me. I thought I was like, oh, is that another one there? Yeah, it's another one there. Okay. I'm just going down to the floor, if you don't mind. Just down to the floor, hanging out. <laughs> just keep flying, dude. Or not flying, swimming. As a matter of fact, don't ever fly. The moment you guys fly, I think it'll be game over for us humans. Now, speaking of which, I better, I think I see an oxygen canister thing over there, which we're going to be needing pretty soon. Do I dare speed it up? I'll speed it up here a little bit. It's very low on oxygen, though. Your oxygen is getting dangerously low, Karis. Return to the sub now. That's kind of uh, impossible right now, my friend. Who boy. Okay. Oh my god. Another person torn apart. Oh good god almighty. Oh no. Falcon, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Just go down. Just go down. Don't freak out. Another data log. Okay, but don't get too distracted. Find a safe spot to go over the logs, or the sharks may swoop in when you're not paying attention. Yes, <laughs> swooping is bad. You weren't kidding about these sharks. You mean kind of like what they're doing right now? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that noise. I'm not reading that here. You guys gotta wait till I can read this. Uh-huh. Don't. Don't do it, Shark Man. Don't. Don't call your friends over either. Oh boy. Okay. Do I dare speed up? Where's my sub at? Oh my god! The shark's hovering right above me! Ah. Remember, if you do get injured in a scuffle, you'll have to scrounge for a first aid kit. Not new to this, Marshal. What do you mean I got hurt by a scuffle? There was no scuffle involved. Did I get just bang into a rock or something or what? A coral reef? Okay. Yo, I'm... Oh, you know what? I think it was probably a coral reef. You see those here? 
not sure that's the proper name for it here. That's what I'm familiar with. My god, that scared the shit out of me, though. I thought, like, one of those sharks just clamped down on me. Okay, look, I gotta raise up here a little bit. Is the sub around? No. Away from me. Sub should be coming up here. Just, just relax. Just relax. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Underwater is no joke, dude. This is terrifying as hell. Alright, so I, I think we're safe now. I'm just gonna go ahead and just refuel my... my oxygen here. I will read this now, I'm gonna say. I should probably patch up as well just because of... that little bang-up we took. Okay. We're fine. So let's read this uh, data log now. The log mentions EMP activity. Marshall, is it possible a naturally occurring electromagnetic disturbance could have destroyed all these submarines? EMPs don't propagate underwater, Karis. And even if one actually could, I can't imagine the power source needed for a surge of that magnitude. This might be out of our comfort zone, but we can't ignore the situation. Never said I was going to turn back, Marshall. You know me better than that. While you're at it, see if you can find that RTX detector. What's that? The Resonance Terrain X-ray detector. It would be incredibly useful. You still have an active mission, Keras. You can replenish your oxygen from the hatch at the top of the sub, but stay focused on your objective. Alrighty, so I was hoping I could get back on this sub and look for the other one, get closer to it before I start looking for the other sub, but no. Can't use the sub right now. Refuel timer, so let's go. So next one's going to be down through here, it does seem. Sharks are obviously still hanging out. Oh, thankfully the other one's just right below me. Of course, I went after the difficult one first. Alrighty, so... As long as I hang out through here, we should be okay. Get away from me, little fish man. Ignore the, the body parts, the human body parts there. It mentions one of the subs was carrying cesium. Doesn't that stuff explode when it comes into contact with water? It does, but both Necton and Odin make clever use of that property for controlled demolitions occasionally. Alright, so I'm done, right? Got the two data logs? Let me get back inside. There's still a shark hanging out over there. And he's like circling around. Go away, shark. Just let me get back inside. Watch out, Karis. Your submarine suffered an impact. If it keeps getting hit like that, it will stall out. Get out of your sub and use a repair kit. Wh when did this happen? Oh, these sharks banged this thing up and all was gone, or what? What the? What's happening? Are you okay? Something was interfering with my screens. Weird. An old frequency, perhaps. Anyway, I found the coordinates of the ship mentioned in the logs. Go and have a look around. Well, I'm trying. I'm just trying to fix this thing before those sharks uh, decide to come after me here. Come on, come on. Alright, we're good. Get inside. Oh, thank God we made it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll still actively chase me down, so I just want to book it from here as soon as possible. That's alright. And then apparently... Our next location is down through here. I must say, this new Odin equipment is amazing. Now I understand why my father was so excited about it. Yeah, it allowed him to perform the very first EVA at that depth. He always said it was one of his proudest achievements. I guess me coming in second place isn't so bad. Any father would be proud of his daughter following in his footsteps. Literally. Follow in his footsteps? More like lurk in his shadow, you mean? You know that's not the case. Nekton would not keep giving you work if you weren't one of the best. Thanks, Marshal. Alright. And there's the ship. Oh, of course, another shark waiting for us, too. <laughs> How about that? Alright, you guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here as soon as I hit this parking spot. Uh, all the information for Iron Fish is gonna be down below in the old description. It's already out. 
as I mentioned. If you would like to see some more, let me know in the comments, and uh, we might cover a bit more of it going forward. We'll see how it plays out, but you guys let me know in the see comments. If you can find anything useful left behind by the sub operators. And by leaving a like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time. Say goodbye, Sharkman. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, fuck you, Shark. <laughs>